the next topic that we want to look at is the property of, of a function being either increasing or decreasing, right? Um, and this is not necessarily a global property. This is a property that's going to apply on, on different intervals within the domain of a function, right? So we're going to make this definition on some interval, right? But this interval might not be the entire domain. It might be simply part of the domain. Um, so if you have the graph of a function, something like this, and you think about well, what, what should it mean for a function to be increasing or decreasing? Now, here when we talk about increasing or decreasing, we're talking about y values, right? The output value. Um, so when should we say that the, the value of a function is increasing? When should we say that the value of a function is decreasing? Well, a, uh, an increasing function, you know, we think of these, usually we read things from left to right, right? So, so we would say that a function is, is increasing if the y values are getting bigger as we move from left to right. We would say that a function is decreasing if the y values are getting smaller as we move from left to right, right? So that means that, you know, over this portion here, we should say that our function is increasing because it seems to be getting bigger, right? From here to here, we would say that our function is getting smaller. And then again, over here, it looks like our function is increasing again, okay? So to make this precise, we would say that We say f is increasing on our interval if for any numbers a less than b in i, we have that f of a is less than f of b. And we say that f is decreasing on i if for any a less than b in our interval, we have the other inequality. So f of a is bigger than f of b, right? So if we look at the graph that we have over here, right? If I, in this middle portion, if I choose, say, A, A and B here, right? Here's A, here's B, A less than B, and here's F of A, and it's bigger than F of B, right? Whereas if I'm, if I'm working out here where my function is increasing, and I choose my A and my B, I see that, you know, the value at f of a is going to be less than the value at f of b, right? So on an interval where the function is increasing, we expect that the function gets bigger as we move from left to right. If it's decreasing, the function is getting smaller as we move from left to right, okay? So this is what we mean by increasing and decreasing. Um, some textbooks will, will use less than or equals here, greater than or equals here, uh, and, then and then they might say that this, what we have here is called strictly increasing, strictly decreasing. Um, that, that results in some oddities, like for example, a constant function would then be both increasing and decreasing, which seems sort of strange, right? Um, that doesn't seem quite right. Um, so we'll go with the strict inequalities. It's a little bit simpler to work with, and it makes sense for what we're gonna be doing. Um, the other thing to notice before we move on, and we'll, we'll get to this um, in, the, in the next video, um, you might notice something about the points where the function appears to transition from increasing to decreasing. You might notice that they are exactly the points um, where the tangent line is horizontal, right? The critical points, the places where the derivative is zero. Um, so this is interesting, right? Uh, these, these critical points are these, they're, they, they're going to be transition points between intervals of increase and decrease, and we're going to look at that. We're going to spend a fair amount of time dealing with that. Um, the other thing is, is, you know, if you think about, you know, what does it mean if you think about a line, right? Um, what does it mean for a line to be increasing? Well, a line is increasing if it has positive slope, right? It's decreasing 
if it has negative slope. So if we're thinking about a curve, right, something which curves, it's not straight line, but it's a curve which has a tangent line at every point. Well, we can make similar statements about slopes of tangent lines at every point on a curve. Um, and that's going to allow us to relate this notion of increasing and decreasing to the derivative. But take care that the, the definition of increasing and decreasing that you see here, right, there's no mention of derivative yet. Right? The derivative is going to come in through a theorem, and that's going to be our next video.